Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and another puzzle by uh, subtitle, this pseudonym I accidentally gave to Jessica Shaham and uh, she embraced it very kindly. Now, I'm looking forward to this, but of course you know where to go for um, the links to all the stuff going on around the channel. So we have the Patreon content, including Sudoku hunts and crossword videos and the like. Um, we have the Discord server, which uh, is run by some absolute geniuses. So much interesting Sudoku chat. Of course, all our apps. So do also so click on the uh, description field under the video for those URLs. Click on Cracking the Cryptic if you want to see um, the full list of all our videos, including obviously we have occasional set of videos and podcasts interspersing with the two videos a day that we keep bringing you, and uh, we're delighted to do that. So today's puzzle is actually called Grilled Cheese, uh, by subtitle, and it's, I think that's because it's a type of sandwich puzzle with, with some thermos, hence the grilling, I guess, a bit of heat going in there. So the rules are normal Sudoku rules, Along thermos, digits must increase from the bowl but to the end, and the clues outside the grid give the sums of the digits between the one and the nine in that row or column. So do have a go at it on the first link under the video. I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. And well, I was going to focus on the 28 clue, but I've just seen a 35 clue. And the subset of the secret that 1 to 9 add up to 45 is that 2 to 8 add up to 35. So a sandwich puzzle with, with a 35 clue always has its 1 to 9 on the outside. And we like to mark cells that can't contain 1 to 9 with green. So I'm going to do that here as well. Now, the reason I've greened these cells in column 9 is because if you subtract 28 from the maximum 35, you get 7. So the outside cell or cells that aren't in the sandwich have to add up to 7. And they can't include 1, of course. So they're either 2, 5, 3, 4, or a single 7. So I don't know whether 1 or 9 goes in row 2 or 3, but it definitely goes in one of them. Um, oh, look, here's something in the bottom row. Where does 8 go? Well, now that 9 has gone from the row in one of those two cells, 8 must be on the end of a thermo, so it's got to be in box 8. Um, I'm going to mark this thermo, good it, as it, we sometimes say, because I like to put all the um, possibles on longer thermos. Now, what have we got going on here? So obviously, yeah, actually it's worth noting that any cell in a thermo that isn't on the beginning or end can be colored green because it can't have a one or a nine on it. So now look, in this row, in this column, I mean, sum of 20, well, it's got to include all of these. Now, can it have any more than four cells? Yes, it could. Two, three, four, five, and six adds up to 20. So actually, it could be two, three, four, five, and six running up the thermo with a one and a nine there. Or that could be a nine, and those could be the numbers two, three, four, five, and six. Or, of course, there must be some combination of those possibles that adds up to 20 with the 9 there and the 1 there. So actually, we don't know. But one of those is a 1 or a 9, so those don't include 1. Ah, in this column, in this box, the 1 and 9 are in those two cells, both of them. So those don't include a 1 or a 9. 9 must be in one of those two, for what it's worth, which is not much. Mm, okay, look at column three. That's quite interesting. We've got those two cells in green because of the thermo, but are they in the nine sum? And the answer is interestingly, yes, they are, because 
you can't encase 9 within a 1 and a 9 there, and you can't do it there. So one of the 1 or 9 must be that end, and one of them must be that end. And these are in the sum. Now, a 9 sum is either 2 or 3 cells long. If it's 3 cells long, it's 2, 3, and 4. But either way, it can't extend past 3 cells, and those are included. So we can green in those ones on the end as well. Um, hmm, what else can we do? I don't really know. <clears throat> Sixteen has to be a three cell sum at least. Ah, and it can't be all five. What do I mean by all five? I mean those five cells. The minimum they can add up to is 20, as we saw in the 20 column. Two, three, four, five, six is 20. So in this column, the one and the nine are separated by three. I know it has to be three because eight and seven is 15 is the maximum for two cells. So they're either there and there or they're there and there. That means that one is green. Now, 20 is also some... Well, 20 is a very tricky number, actually, because it's between 3 and 5 cells long. Same with 21. But uh, So we know that the sandwich is three to five cells long, so it could be all those five. But it could be just those three. Can this ever be? Yes, it could. It could be those three. I was hoping we could find where the one and nine were in, the, in that row, or one of them, but no. Thwarted. Um, hmm. Not sure, then. I think I'm missing some sort of trick here. Oh, right. Okay, well, there's a, there's a 1 and a 9 in those cells, and we know that the 9 can't be on a bulb, so there's a 1 on one of those bulbs and a 9 in one of those two cells. Um... That should have been marked green as well, because it's not on a bulb or an end. I just didn't notice. Now, those three cells must be in the sandwich, I think, because the sandwich has to be, again, at least three cells long. And it's a 19. Yes, this is very interesting. So a 19 cannot have a five-cell sandwich. Remember, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 is the minimum and for five cells and adds to 20. So the 19 sandwich is three or four long. It definitely includes those. It can't now include that, so that has to be a uh, sandwich crust, as we call it. And that's not, and therefore that is in column 9 now. It's either 3 or 4 cells, so that is not a crust. 1 is in, yeah, that has to be a 9, because it can't be a 1. And that can't be a 1, because the 1 in this box is in one of those two cells. So that is the 1. And those three cells along the sandwich are the sum of 19. That's interesting, right? So this is a 1. Now we're placing some of these 1s and 9s. <clears throat> That's green. Now there's a 9 sum in row 1. And the 9 sum is either 2 or 3 cells long. So that has to be part of the crusts. That has to be the 9. Because it can't be a 1. That has to be green. We don't know whether the 1 goes in column 5 or 6. Now, we can actually green this cell. Because it sees... Oh, actually, sorry. It's more obvious. We can see a 1 and a 9 in the box. I was going to point out... Okay, here, these two cells see a 1 in the box and a 9 in the column. So they can't be 1 or 9, clearly. Um, so there's a 1 somewhere here. Um, 
Nine, no, we don't have a clue for that row. Now, maybe I need to do some Sudoku at this point rather than just sandwiching. Those four, I don't know which of these is the one. Tricky. Um, ah, this one now has its three maximum, right, that's what I should have spotted. Three maximum sandwich, which has to be two, three, four. Then we can put a nine on the end and we've got a bit more coloring to do. And we've completed one of our sandwiches. Right, nine in this row. I think we can green all of those. 18 has to be at least three cells, so that's gone red and we know it's a one. Um, this is not a one, clearly, because it's green now. Still don't know about the 16 column. Can't finish that off. Seven clue here can only be one or two cells of sandwich. No, I was going to say I think this must be a crust, but it's not absolutely definite. Ah, and this 20 row. Now, a 3 cannot be in a 3 cell 20 sandwich. So if the 3 is in the sandwich, it's bigger. But a 3 could be in the 5 cell sandwich that is possible. So actually, I Still don't really know what to do. Right, these add up to 19. Can we make any progress on that? Do they have to include an 8? Yes, I think they do. 8, 5, 4, or 8, 7, 6. They do. So that is an 8 because of the thermo. The 8 has to be the highest digit. And now we suddenly know that that's a 9 because of the thermo. So we get a red there. Green here. Now, yeah, this can't be a crust of the 16, or there'd be nowhere to put the other end. So that's green. The crusts are there. That's green, and therefore isn't a 1. We can place the 1 in that cell. That's a 9. This is not a 9. So we get a 9 here, which doesn't have any clue for the column, but now helps with the row. So... Still don't know whether it's three or five. It can't be longer than that. So we get green at the end. This one sees a one and a nine. Um, so there's going to be a nine down here somewhere. A one there. Ooh, we still don't really know about these other white cells, I don't think, if I've missed something maybe, but... <clears throat> Now, these two add up to seven, so they're either two, five, or three, four. <coughs> these add up to 16. Oh, yes, this was either seven, four, or five, six on the thermo. These two add up to nine. This one must be either five, six, or seven, and this one, two, three, or four. 20. Oh, it's either 875 there with a 1 here, or 3 and 2, 4, 5, 6 with a 1 here. 18 in this row. Trouble is, I don't really know how that works. 7 in row 7. We've done the 9. This 16. Maybe that's more approachable. Now, this 20. Can this be 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? with a one here. Ah, if it was, this would be a seven, and this would be the eight, and that cannot be an eight anymore. Perfect, oh, that's clever. So what I was suggesting was, can that be the five cell 20 version? And the answer is no, because that would have to be two, three, four, five, six. You'd have a one here. This would be seven or eight, but that's not possible, because this has to be higher on the thermo and can't be an eight. So we can put in one there, color it red, of course. Now the seven sum, we know where the other crust ends up. 
and I think we can therefore put in a 9 there. These two add up to 7 again, 2, 3, 4 and 5 are the only candidates. Um, that is a 9 now, and therefore red. Um, still don't know about a couple of the ones, three of the ones I think we have still to place, but we've got all the nines placed. Now, these add up to 20. No, I think there's a lot of ways of doing that, I suspect. Same with those adding up to 16. Um, okay, so this can't be more than 8, so... Bit of thermo pencil marking. Hmm. There's quite a bit to do for very few thermo clues from this stage onwards. Maybe I can work out can this be from two, four, five, and six? Ah. Okay, say that was five digits long, and obviously the sandwich there is four digits long and adds up to 18. So those would add up to 17. Those would add up to 18. That's a total of 35. Now we'd have a nine and a one to put in here in the central row of the middle box. That's a total of 45. What am, I, what am I coming up with here as an idea? I, I have a feeling it doesn't work, but I, I can't see a way to prove that at all. Sorry. Um, These would be, these would definitely include a two. They'd be from two, four, five, and six. Now, how do you make up 18 in four digits? Um, six, five, three. Could you use an eight? Only if you had eight there, two, three, and five. Two, four, five, and six. Two, three, and five. Hmm, I can't tell. How about, maybe it's more difficult. Ah, eight, seven, five. Right, if this was the three cell 20, which is the other alternative, you'd have an eight here, because that can't be an eight, and that can't be an eight. So eight would be there, and that couldn't work here because you'd need six and two, and that would clash with that too. Goodness me, that's very clever. So this is not a three cell, this is a four cell thermo. So we can, I was gonna say finish the coloring, but there's still two ones to do, and I don't know how they go, but that can't be a seven. This is now two, three, four, five, six. So it's got seven and eight at the ends of the row. Now I'm gonna to have to do this maths again properly. Um, well, first of all, eight is in one of those two cells. Therefore, we know where eight is at the bottom. It is here. Therefore, again, seven, six, five, four. Hang on though, this has to be five or six. It can't be lower than that given what else is in the column. So that is six or seven. Um, and now this has to add up to 16. And it doesn't have an eight. Um, if that was six, seven and three would be fine. Okay, that's not totally helpful. There's definitely a two here. So that's at least three. Now, six, seven, eight would already add up to 18. Five, six, seven would already add up to 18. So it can't begin with 
anything that big. Now, if this was a four, that would be two, five, six. That would be a four. On the thermo, that would make this a two. And these two would have to add up to 12. They would be five, seven. So that does work. Four, five, seven. No, it doesn't work because you can't make this up without using four and five. So that is not a four. That is a three. That's not a three now. Now, if that was a 4, these would have to add up to 11. They'd be 4, 7. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 11. Hang on, this can't be an 8 now. If that was an 8, with that as 3, that's 11. Oh, no, it could be. These add up to 7. And they'd be 2 and 5, and that probably does work. <clears throat> In fact, that looks quite likely. Let's try it if this was a 6. I think that would quickly fail, would it? 6, then you'd have 2, 4, 5 here, 6 here. <coughs> no, it is possible. I'm going to cough now. Sorry about that. Let's just keep going on this. Six is the maximum there, so this can't be a six. This can't be a five, actually. That's getting a bit more restrictive. Right, so it's either three and four. <clears throat> I'm going to need to cough again, sorry. There we go, frog in the throat. Right, this is either three and four, in which case these add up to 11, and I think they have to be five and six. But that is not going to work up here, because you can't take 6 and 5 out of those. So that's going to have to be a 2. Unsurprisingly and annoyingly, these add up to 13 now. So they're either 5, 8 or 6, 7 as a pair. Um, yeah, so now we've got a 2, 4, 5, 6 quadruple. That's 1 or 7, that's 1, 7 or 8. I'm not sure that's quite what we wanted to do in terms of... Right, if that's a 5... Okay, whether this is a 5 or 6, so is this, because that can then no longer be in that section. That can't be a 5 anymore. These have to add up to 20. Maybe I need to focus on that. If this is a 5, five, that can be no more than a four, and this would need to be a nine to make up the sum, so that doesn't work. Six there, take out six from those, that gives us a six here, which goes with a seven there. Um, eight, that can't be a six. Now these two have to add up to twelve. Ah, two ways to do it still. Oh no, not two ways to do it, because that four should have ruled that out quite early. Seven there. This is very clever, isn't it? Nine, seven, six, five, two, one. So this is three or four. We've got three, four, and eight to put in the column. That can't be a three. Oh, this has become a six. Six, nine, seven, eight. Nine, seven, eight. This is where one goes, clearly. And then we have a two, three, four, five quad at the top. That's become a seven. And this to this sandwich is known, 15 plus four. Um, one, seven, nine, six. That column's not so helpful. Right, this can't be a six or a five now. If it was a four, we'd never fit a seven in the row, so that's a seven. This can't be five or four. Oops. Oh, I can't resolve those. Seven, eight, six, one, nine. That's two, four, or five. This is bigger than that, so it's three, four, or five. 
We've got two, three, five, and six to place. I can place the six, I didn't realize that. This can't be a six, and now this nine sum has to be seven, two. Lovely. So we get a six, eight there. It's very skillful the way this all resolves. That's not a four. So we've done, oh, we haven't finished off this 16 sum. They have to add up to nine. So they're five and four, lovely. Okay, that is very handy. Central box done. Almost all the central three boxes vertically done now. Um, this 20 clue's been done. This 28 hasn't, of course. These, oh, I still can't resolve those. Okay. So the across clues, we've done the 18 and the 20 and the 19 and the nine. This seven, of course. Ooh. There we go, five and four. We've done the 35 effectively. So, ooh, must be just Sudoku to do from now. Four gets placed in that box. That is gonna fix this sum up here as a two five pair, isn't it? Five and two. Um, two, one, four, nine, so. I think this is more straightforward than I'm finding it, sorry. Three, five, and six in the row. Um, six, four, and eight in the next row, which don't seem very helpful numbers. Oh look, that eight is telling me how to sort out the eights there. Three, seven, this is a two, six pair, this is a five, eight pair. What have we got? Three, four, and eight. That can't be a three on the thermo. Six is definitely in one of those cells, so it's definitely in one of these. Wow, this isn't really resolving, is it? One, three, four, nine. Oh, that can't be a three, so some of this is resolving. Eight, eight. So that fixes eight and six. That fixes this as a seven. That sorts out the three, seven pair. Now we get a six here. That is three or four, which gives us a three, four pair. Two, five, that's a two. Three or four there and seven here. Now I've got everything pencil marked and it's still not falling out completely. I think the only place for a two in this column is here, yep. That can't be a six, nor can that. Four eight pair gives us a six there. Now, that can't be a six. That is a six because of the pair we've got. And it looks quite difficult to finish off. Let's just do the coloring while we're while I'm looking at that. And I think we're gonna to have to come down to this tiny little thermo in the corner. So for that to be a four, that would be a three. And this would be impossible. Oh, well, that's lovely. So that has to be an eight. And that surely will finish us off. Eight there, four there. We get a three here. Four there, three five pair, sorts out an eight five pair, four and three and four and three. What a lovely puzzle. That's really good stuff. Um, greatly enjoyed. And I mean, I really like the way those constraints work together. Absolute elegance of uh, minimal cluing there. Really good. Um, hope you enjoyed that and hope to see you again soon on the channel. Bye for now.